Stephanie Samurai and today I am once again going to Daiso but this time so much bigger than the first one I took you guys with me to. I can't speak English. I fell upon this Daiso completely by accident in Little Tokyo even though I've been there like 500 different times but this time we you know took one step outside of the little plaza and then BAM! We found a Galleria, aka a mall. Not only is there this big Daiso located inside that mall, but so many other cute little shops that are just like so fun to look around at. Plus I need a lot of stuff for my apartment, so this is perfect and I think you guys should see it, so. It doesn't look like much from outside, but bear with me. But it's massive. I heard that there's even bigger ones the further out that you go, like in Los Angeles, but that's a later adventure. All right, I think I'm gonna do some actual shopping and I will show you guys later what I get. Um, because I feel like doing both at once will be a little bit difficult. So, BRB.
I finally made it home. Guys, I bought so much stuff once again. I don't know how this keeps happening. I'm not rich. I'm actually quite broke all the time. But Daiso is just the perfect place for somebody like me, clearly, because everything's like $1.50, so I go crazy. And then that grocery store had everything I could have wanted. So yeah, we're doing a pretty big haul today. I am literally so tired too, like, wow. I'm just glad that I managed to get an Uber for less than $20 on my way back. Yeah, that's a good price. <laughs> Anyways, on with the haul. All right, so let's start out with Daiso since that is the main content of the video. Anyways, everything else is just extra stuff that I felt like getting because I was in pro close proximity to them. So and Daiso alone was already a lot of stuff. I spent about half of what I spent before or less than half actually at $43. I'm doing better, okay? I'm doing better. I didn't plan to, but I ended up getting a bunch of Halloween decorations because they're so cute. They were looking at me right in front of the store, so I had to get some. So this is like a little ghost, um, what do you call these? Tinsel thing, tinsel? All right, editor me, write it in. Yeah, isn't it so cute though? Like, look. Nope, not on me, don't focus on me. Look at these little guys, they're so adorable. Back to back. And it's pink, which goes with the theme of my room. So I was like, this, I had to get this. And at first I got one, but then I got two, because every time I get something like this, it ends up being like way shorter in the actual, you know, space than I expect it to be. So I made sure to get two this time. And they were each like a dollar, so really cheap. I also got a cute little trick-or-treat little basket thing. Not that I'll actually go trick-or-treating since I'm a little bit too old for that, but I'll store all of my candy in here inside my apartment. So it'll feel nice and festive. It'll make my childhood self very happy. Next on my Halloween list, these little guys. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> Next, I got this little ghost friend who will hang on my wall. Super cute. Nice little Casper the ghost situation. I think lastly, in my Halloween list, I got this Nightmare Before Christmas sticker pack, which was absolutely mandatory. I think I'm going to put this on like my door and stuff, like maybe a couple, maybe my walls too, but yeah. I think I'm gonna put this on my door, um, especially her, like look how pretty she is. Like, wow. One big thing that I definitely wanted to get going out um, to Daiso was a tablecloth for my new dining table. My dining table is in dire need of something to make it look more like it's a part of this room. Right now it's just wooden. So I got these because these were the only round tablecloths that I could find that I actually found cute. And I mean, look at it, isn't it adorable? So I got like two of these. I think they're supposed to go like in the middle of your table, but I got two just in case. Basically, I decided I'll just, you know, look on Amazon or something for a much bigger one that looks kind of like this. And then I also got yet another Rilaku mask. Yes, I'm calling them Rilaku masks. Sanrio, take notes. I mean, look how cute it is. It's so adorable. I love the little strawberries. I love the cute little pattern. Honestly, this would have matched a lot better with this outfit than the other mask that I wore, but you know, live and learn. Oh, and I made sure to get it in the adult size. Apparently, they actually do have them in adult size. They're not all children's size. The first one I got was in children's size. I make it work, but they have a young adult and they have adult size, so that's perfect for depending on the size of your face. I got high shoes. Again, because I can. I also got a Ramune, 
because Ramune, I wanted to get the same one that I got last time, which was like a big, um, it was a much bigger bottle, aluminum. Um, doesn't have that whole like shazazz going on at the top. Um, you just twist it open. I really liked it and it's like, I feel like there's a lot more in it, but I got this. I mean, it's cute and it's fun, so. I also got this drawer storage, which I've really been needing. And honestly, I almost forgot that I got this on my way back. So I'm like feeling super excited again that I got this. Like I've been in dire need of some storage organization in my closet. I mean, my closet is really cute and like huge with a lot of like designated, you know, shelving space, which I really appreciate. But the way I've been using it has not been very efficient, so to speak. So this is where this will come in. And if you look at the little drawing or the little picture, this is how it'll look once I assemble it. And I got two, so. And they're each like $5, so. Another snack, I got this green tea baked wheat cake. Fun fact, I've been watching Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro recently, and I watched the bean, not the bean, the, the, the bun, the soft bun episode, if you know, you know. So ever since then, I've been like really curious about what those taste like since I've never tried them. So I fell upon this while I was at Daiso and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try one. And I really like green tea flavored stuff, so. And the guy who was checking me out said, yeah, like this is really addicting, so. Let's hope that he was telling the truth. And now for my favorite item that I bought from Daiso today, or I guess items, I got this bouquet of flowers for my home. And they're all fake, of course, because I do not know how to take care of plants. At least not yet. I've never actually had to take care of plants like seriously before. And I was, I'm too scared to dive in yet. So I got these fake ones, which are really, really pretty, and I feel like they'll light up the room, and it comes in this little bucket, and yeah, it's like this nice, cute, you know, bouquet of like, God knows how many, like, flowers. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my Daiso portion of the haul. So for the first item that I got from the bowl tea shop, Japanese shop, I am so, so excited about this. I got this ramen bowl, or at least I'm pretty sure it's a ramen bowl. It has the shape and depth that is perfect for ramen and udon or whatever soup thing you wanna make. And wow, isn't it so pretty? Like, ee! This one was $12 and it was 20% off. So I guess it was around like 10. And for this bowl, I got a little spoon, which is also perfect for ramen and udon and such. So yay. Next thing I got was two of these cups that are so, so adorable. I mean, look at them. They're so adorable. I feel like these are perfect for tea and they're perfect for water if you just wanna drink water. I got these so quick. They were on sale for three for ten dollars yeah it was three for ten dollars each one four dollars and i got a set of another two which i actually like even more than the previous oh look at them it's so adorable look i'm going to show you just one round like look at this basically to hit that deal i got like two of these and then one of the other ones but then i was like then it's weird if i only have like a set of two for these and only one of the blue. So I got two of the blue as well. So in total it ended up being around like $14. Now on to the grocery shopping. Yes, I also went grocery shopping, which was also actually a bad idea because I didn't go upstairs and look at other stuff before going to the grocery store. I just was immediately like food. Like that's how my brain is. It's just like food. Like the grocery store was right there and I was like, let me just go straight there. Um, so right after going there, I ended up just going home. So 
I guess that just gives us an excuse to have a part two at the Little Tokyo Galleria where I can show you the cute little Sanrio shops and stuff like that on the second floor. So in terms of snacks and drinks, I got quite a few things. I got three of these coconut milk drinks and this one is the banana one, which looks so delicious and it's non-dairy. So I, I was like looking around and around and around for like the perfect drink that I can have. And I, I don't know, I just don't really like soda and I don't really like seltzer, which is basically a majority of American drinks apparently or drinks in general. So this had is just made out of coconut milk and this is banana flavored. And I just kind of went crazy and I got Thai tea flavored as well. And I also got melon flavored. So I've actually never tried any of these, but these look so delicious that I absolutely had to get these. I also absolutely had to get soju. Yes, your girl loves some soju. And these are my two favorite flavors, strawberry and grape. I had to get that. I had to get it because sometimes work gets a little bit hard and you just gotta drink a little some something, something to take the edge off. Let me tell you, so these are perfect, especially with some ramen or something. There were so many times I wish I had soju since coming out here, now I finally do. And I also got more ramen because I realized that they were also $1.50 at this store, so I was like, I gotta get these. In terms of little snacky snacks, I also got little mochi buns, red bean mochi. I got sesame, and I got two green tea. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of red bean flavored, like red bean filling, like at all, but that seems to be the go-to for pretty much every mochi dessert other than mochi ice cream. And since I'm lactose intolerant, I was about to get ice cream, so I ended up just getting these and I'll just deal with the red bean later. And I also got this little cake, cause I was about to get another green tea, bun but then i was like what if i don't like it and then i have two of them when i could also get a different flavored thing and try something new again so i got this marble sponge cake thing and lastly in terms of snacks i got a fruit bowl or fruit rectangle thing so a fruit container yeah i just got a bunch of fruit which is just strawberry mango and papaya, which are basically my three favorite fruits other than watermelon. And you know, since I got that ramen bowl, I had to get actual stuff to make real ramen at home. So naturally I got noodles, lots and lots of noodles. And I also got little veggies to go in my ramen, like little sprouts and bok choy. I love making stuff like this. If you guys are ever interested in seeing me make food or even see me bake, let me know in the comments below because that is something that I would love to do even though I have a very tiny studio kitchen. Um, I've always wanted to do a little wholesome baking video vlog thing with you guys. So let me know. Let me know if you're interested. I also got scallions to go on top of the ramen. I got ginger because I like to have my ginger miso ramen. And I also got coconut milk, which is my own little recipe, my own little secret sauce to make the broth nice and creamy. And I got mushrooms, lots and lots of mushrooms. And these happen to be my favorite mushrooms ever. So these are, these are woodier mushrooms, which have the perfect, perfect texture. They're like chewy and bouncy and have a nice, umami flavor to them. These are oyster mushrooms, which are also my favorite. I like to call these nature's chicken. I think they're actually known among vegans slash plant-based eating people um, to be like the chicken of the earth. So if you ever want to eat something that kind of tastes like that, um, but is, you know, plant-based, I definitely recommend oyster mushrooms. It's all in the seasoning though. It's all in the seasoning though. I also got packaged cup ramen or just packaged, you know, processed ramen that's not fresh. Um, just so that I have it in stock um, in the house 
so that if I ever just like don't have anything else to eat, I actually have this. And it's also very budget friendly. It was like four bucks or something, like $4.99 for like four packs in here. I got tofu to go in my ramen slash any other thing. I basically eat tofu all the time, 24 seven. But yes, I got this for the ramen. I also got rice cakes just because I really like rice cakes in general. Um, but rice cakes are more of a hot pot thing. I would dare to try and put it in ramen, but I feel a little hesitant to do that. But this is more of a hot pot thing. And speaking of hot pot, I got hot pot base. And if you're not sure what hot pot is, it's basically, basically like this broth that you cook up and then you put literally whatever you want, like veggies, meats, whatever. And as it's cooking, you're eating out of it. I also got sushi rice because I know at some point or another, I'm gonna wanna make sushi rice. Oh my goodness, I wanna eat that right now. I'm so hungry. I also got veggie dumplings. I also got this okonomiyaki thing um, because I had okonomiyaki for the first time a couple weeks ago with a couple of friends and it was the most delicious experience of my life. So when I fell upon this in the freezer section, I was like, I'm gonna try it. It most likely won't be as good, but it might be pretty tasty, so I'm giving it a shot. And lastly, I can't believe we're already on the last piece. I'm surprised. And it's kind of funny for me to land on this, but I got kimchi. I'm always craving kimchi at like the randomest times. And I'm always like, dang, I wish I had kimchi at home. Why don't I have a jar of kimchi just sitting at home? So when I saw this, I decided to get it. It was kind of cheap. It was like three bucks. And kimchi has a way of being pretty expensive in most supermarkets. So I went ahead and took advantage. Well, that is it for my haul today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me on this journey. It was so, so exciting and so fun today. I am so tired and so hungry, but I'm also so excited to finally eat all of these goodies that I got in my brand new ramen bowl. So that's really, really exciting. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, love you guys, and till next time. All right, bye.